Hi everybody, my name is John Holenko. I'm with Hungry Monk Music, and uh, this is the first of what I hope is going to be a series of little short videos, sort of documenting whatever I might be working on this week, today, this afternoon, musically. I play guitar, I play mandolin, I play a little banjo. Um, I've been involved in a lot of different kinds of music, from classical guitar to bluegrass, mandolin and guitar, um, Brazilian uh, mandolin. Uh, some time ago, I used to play in a medieval ensemble that played on historic instruments. And uh, one of the kinds of musics from the Middle Ages that we played was some Cantigas de Santa Maria. And I have a, a gig coming up in a couple of months uh, playing some of those Cantigas. I'm not going to play them on historic instruments. I'm just going to play them on steel string guitar, mandolin, going to have some percussion. I'm going to use some electronics and loops and things like that. And maybe at some point I'll do a little video on that. But right now I just thought I would sort of give you an idea of what this is all about. The, the Cantigas de Santa Maria are these pilgrim songs to the Virgin Mary from the 1200s uh, associated with the Camino de, Sa de Santiago in the northwest corner of Spain, Com Santiago de Compostela. There's a cathedral there that purportedly holds some of the remains of St. James, and it's been a pilgrim route for hundreds of years. And these are pilgrim songs that were sung theoretically along that route, and they're all hymns to the Virgin Mary, either prayers to the Virgin Mary for some kind of, you know, favor or something to, you know, some something that people want to happen or simply in praise of her. Um, like most medieval music, it's monophonic, single melody kind of thing, not part writing, just one uh, melody. And they tend to be in a couple of different modes, right? So uh, right here in the Middle Ages, you get this idea of modes, what we might consider the major scale. <laughs> Uh, a mode which is a major scale with a flat seven. We call that mixolydian mode. Uh, there's a couple of minor modes with a flat third. There's another minor mode that has the flat third and the flat six. which is the mode of the Cantiga I'm going to show you right now. It's number 322. There's 420 Cantigas. I don't know who came up with this numbering system, probably a more recent sort of thing. I don't know if they, they didn't number them, I'm sure. Uh, there are words to these songs, Cantiga songs. Um, they were written in a medieval Galician Portuguese language. Um, this is the area of Spain known as Galicia. Um, and this particular mode is the, the minor, the flat third, flat six. And there's kind of an A section and a B section. So just the melody all by itself goes like this. nice and it's a real pretty melody. Um, it's unclear from the manuscripts, of course, how fast, how slow. It could be played on any number of instruments. Certainly there are words to it, so it would be sung. I'm not going to sing it. I'm just going to play the melodies. Um, left to my own devices, I've come up with various different ways of playing this, this melody. It's uh, in a G. This is a, I'm playing it in a G, uh, out of G, this G minor mode. And uh, because in medieval music there's no chord changes, it's just uh, there's a drone sometimes and it's just the melody, um, this is basically in G. So what I've done is I have tuned my A string down to G so that I have fifth string G my fourth string D, my third string G, I have a nice little root and fifth drone. And so I can add that to this melody.
that's it. That's the melody. There's a lot of verses, so it goes several times. Uh, one thing that I like to do is uh, just sort of find different ways of playing it on the guitar. I have uh, sort of discovered this place that I like to play it, which is I keep the melody on the G string, so I don't go up to these notes. I go here. That's sort of, I've got this arrangement where I'm playing with my fingers, finger style. Um, it also occurs to me that there's kind of a neat sound I can get if I use a pick as well. Um, and this would be more in keeping with like the medieval lute, uh, which was generally played with some sort of plectrum. Uh, so it would sound like this. like that and then playing it up the octave uh, like this I might try that out a little bit and see what goes on um, I also can play this on the mandolin uh, this project what I'm gonna wind up doing is using some electronics probably loop pedals and stuff and so I may just kind of loop a little drone and play it on guitar, maybe pick up the mandolin, play it on that as well. I'm gonna experiment and see, uh, it can be done with percussion. Uh, any kind of instrument can play this. I don't really play anything but plucked string instruments, so if I played a bowed instrument, that would be neat, or a wind instrument. Um, so that's Cantiga de Santa Maria, number 322. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna hopefully do a bunch of these things. I hope they're kind of short and interesting. You see what I'm up to. Uh, you can visit um, Hungry Monk Music on Facebook or also online. Uh, we also are starting an online education subscription service, Hungry Monk Music Online, that you can find if you search that. And on there, I've got videos on how to play guitar, how to play mandolin, uh, tunes. Haven't gotten into any medieval music on that yet, but it could be coming. Uh, and once again, if you have any ideas for what I could call this series, uh, that would be uh, helpful. And uh, reach out to me and uh, send a, a message. And I hopefully will do this every week. And I'll see you next week with who knows what else. See what I'm working on next week. Thanks. See ya.